For the past week, I've been casually taking tapes that were given to me to change over to digital audio, feeding them to a cassette deck for archival. They're actually uh, pretty interesting tapes, someone discussing the early history of the county, and a historical association wanted them preserved and wanted to be able to make them available to people on the internet. I took care of that over the past week and I got to thinking and I realized that I have a bunch of old cassette tapes of my own so I dug those up today. I fed the tape deck my cassette tapes, my personal cassette tapes, only to discover that I didn't do anything of value with any of them. Uh, it was all music. It was all video game music, rock music, and every single normal cassette tape I have apparently is just uh, music. And it's all music I already have or that doesn't really matter or whatever. So I have no need to convert those tapes to a digital format. But inside of the tape case was a slim, slightly bigger than a regular cassette tape case, plastic case, and in it were four micro cassettes. Now what's fun about this <clears throat> is that I had gotten my hands on my grandfather's micro cassette recorder when I was quite young. I think it was uh, eight, nine, maybe ten. I'm not entirely sure. But I had gotten my hands on his micro cassette recorder, and I had a micro cassette floating around from way back then. I had four other ones in this case. Well, you know, I ended up finding the fifth one, the first one that I made, and I listened to these tapes while I converted the, well, what useful contents there were to digital audio. And it was really interesting. Um, I was obviously very imaginative and very obnoxious. Uh, I don't even know how to explain it. It it could it sometimes was hard to listen to myself. It, you know, eight, nine, ten year old kids can be kind of cringy, especially ones with a really active imagination and a cassette recorder in hand. But you know, one of the I guess rites of passage of being a kid in the '90s is that cassette recorders were a thing and if you were a kid that could get your hands on something that you could record your voice on oh boy were you gonna do it and the nostalgia it, it was very interesting and I was very happy to hear it again and to be preserving it digitally and uh, it brought back a lot of memories that I had pretty much forgotten I had and it's always nice to do that so whenever you move forward with uh, you know, pictures, video, audio, anything like that. Whenever you're, say, going through stuff of your kids that's old, you know, think about ways that you can preserve the memories that came with those things. Because I would have loved to have a lot more stuff from that time in my life, from my earlier youth, I would I would have loved to have a lot more uh, video, pictures, whatever. But part of the problem is you can't go back and redo that. You know, once the memory, the uh, things that record your memories are gone, they're gone. So it, it's real important, I think, to think about how you can preserve the the memories of the things that go on, especially with kids. Because you'll never be a kid twice. You'll never relive 8 or 12 or 14 a second time. And it's nice to just sit back and remember how much fun you had being a kid. It was so nice. It, you know, you lived such a naive, innocent life. You didn't have to worry about the harsh realities of, uh, well, reality. You could just be a kid. At least... You know, I hope that you were able to just be a kid. And uh, it was nice. And it's nice to think about. But without the things that let you uh, remember those memories, 
bring them back up out of your mind, you don't get to swim in that nostalgia again and uh, relive those moments. So that's just what I thought about while I was listening to my younger self make ridiculous sound effects and, uh, you know, a little bit of Star Trek obsession. So the whole tape had these little captain's logs all over them and just all that silly, you know, kid stuff. And I look forward to being able to sit down away from other responsibilities. And you don't really remember as well what it was like being a kid without a little bit of help because it's so long ago. But I think it's valuable to be able to grab that and hold on to it. Thanks for listening. And uh, I hope you preserve your own nostalgia to enjoy for the rest of your life. Or your kids or whatever. Have a good one.